In. Uh, my name is Matthew Mavers, and this morning we are joined with, by Ron Hicker. Hedicker. Hedicker. Matthew, okay. we've been practicing for 15 minutes that night. Sorry, a big <laughs> apologies that we're running late because um, we should have been uh, on time, but we've not. A few technical issues, but apologies again. So today uh, we are looking at the combi oven, all right, the Naboo combi oven by Linox, all right. Um, Falcon, you said, well, tell me a bit about yourself. You've, you've been in the industry 46 years? 46 years, Matthew. I started off in uh, Royal Marines as a chef. Did 24 years there. Um, Travelled all over the world. Most importantly, worked in lots of kitchens. 12 years for the NHS. 12 years then, followed by 12 years as a catering manager in a large acute hospital in Exeter. Wow. And then the last 11 years here. Okay. So, I think, to the point, is I've come... Most of my career, I've been working with combis. Brilliant, brilliant. So um, I've seen them develop. Yeah. Okay. But you would uh, you'd normally know Falcon not for not for combi cooking, um, although, but it's mainly for main capital equipment, isn't it? For main cooking. Prime cooking, cooking equipment. For, yeah. The, refer to the it. Falcon Chieftain that you're familiar with, the Falcon Dominator. Two hundred years old. Two one. We're celebrating our two hundredth birthday next year. So I'm expecting the pay rise. Falcon Foundry, Cannonballs. That's it. They had its own foundry at one no, time. No, no way. Yeah, that's true. 196 employees uh, up in Stirling. Yep. Okay. Uh, so it is really proud to uh, to have that based in the UK um, and to support, you know, the UK manufacturing. And we're always l welcoming new people to come up to the factory to look at it, to look at our product, to play with our product. Um, Despite what it is, you've got a full demo kitchen, demo kitchen De up there. Demonstration kitchen with a demonstra with a uh, development chef there. So if anybody's anybody, and that's open to anybody, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So um, we, if anybody's interested to go up, have a look at the full range. Yeah. How how it's going to benefit their business, and you can cook product there as well. Menu development. And yes, things. we do all that. Assist okay. the, yeah. We're, so, we're, 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 at the end of the day, we want our, the, the, the end user who purchases our equipment to buy the best product there is, and, and it's what's best suited for their environment and what they're, that, what they're trying to achieve in their kitchen. Ron, you're going to show us the, the combi today, all right, the yes. Naboo combi. Um, what, what dishes are you going to cook or what, how are you going to display the combi or tell us what it's well, going to do? Well, I'm going to start off by explaining what a combi is. You'd be surprised the amount of times I get questions to say, what is a combi? And a lot of people still think, well, it, it does a number of different things, but I, I even hear the word microwave. Of course, it's not a microwave at all. Um, so I'm going to explain that. Then we're going to go through some of the features. Uh, and the features change from all, all the different combis on the market. Some will have a bit more, some will have less. Um, most of them are, are, are exactly the same, but we just want to run through the features, and then we're going to cook an eight-item breakfast. Brilliant. Well, I'm a bit hungry. Um, I've deliberately not eaten today, so well, I'll be all right, won't I? You'll be feeding me <laughs> yeah. later on. Yeah. Early. So yeah. Let's, oh, yeah. Get, yeah. let's get cracking. Uh, are you ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. You ready? ready? Can to I take my coffee? Out? You can take your coffee. By right. with pleasure. Okay. So um, while Ron just gets set up there, he's going to. Um, it doesn't take long for the machine to, to warm up, and I'll just take the spot over, well, out, out of his way, to be honest, because I'm a bit nervous. This Royal Marine thing, and I'm a bit scared, and he's got knives as well, so slightly, oh, no. slightly nervous about that. If you don't behave yourself, you're going to find yourself in the pot wash. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, no, would it? No. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, thanks for joining us here today. I've come and travelled a long way, but I'm, it's a lovely part of the, the country up here in Cumbria. Um, I travel the length and the breadth of British Arts, staying in top hotels, meeting lots of local women and drinking lots of local beer. And in my spare time, when I've got nothing else better to do, I come along and do presentations that you're going to see today. I wish that was only true, but it's not. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, the question we're going to ask is, what is a combination oven? Can I answer that? Yeah. Um, Please do. Steam, combination, uh, sorry, no, not steam, uh, dry heat, and a combination of the, of the two. So three, three that's, items. That's good. So it, it runs in three different modes. Basically, the combi is, a, uh, is three machines in one. Three machines in one. And you're quite right. It's steam, convection, 
and a combination of both. So depending on what you want to cook will depend on one of those three modes that you're going to select. So if I want to steam vegetables, poach fish or proof bread, then I use it as a steamer. If I want to uh, grill meats, bake pies, bake bread, then I use it as a convection oven. And if I want to cook poultry and meats, then I use it on combination. And what that means, on combination, it will cook, it will colour exactly the same as it will on convection, but at the same time, there's an element of moisture in the oven compartment. So the product you're cooking, you don't need to baste it. It won't shrink so much during the cooking process, so you're going to get more yield from it when you carve it. It's going to keep more of its nutrition, its appearance, and most importantly, Matthew, its taste. I think uh, one of the things is worth a mention, on especially combi cooking, um, and it's, it's about one of the only pieces of kit that we have got um, that pays for itself, to be honest, um, because three, I, well, you touched on the shrinkage, didn't you? So if we're looking at a uh, reduced shrinkage of, uh, you know, high teens, if not 20%, uh, staffing hours, and also it cleans itself yes. and it's energy efficient. So yeah. it's kind of, it will, you know, you're talking payback periods of months. And once that's been achieved, then, then it's, it's adding margin to the to the business so i think that's it's worth a mention in it that they yeah. they they are unbelievably efficient machines uh, opposed to that and i just don't disagree with the argument i get a lot of people saying to me well it takes away the skills of the chef i can't argue with that it does it it, it can reduce the amount of manpower that the the the, the, the chef has in the kitchen there uh, but it's doing it's doing that job when the chef is sick Somebody else, the idea is that someone else can take over with very little catering experience. Okay, good. Um, well, we'll, have a, we'll have, a look at the, um, have a look at the machine. Is it ready to go now? Well, just to say, what we've got in front of us is the Naboo 7 grid. Um, a lot of other similar size combis come in 6 grid. This has actually got 6 grids. 6 shelves, in other words. Um, it... This is a boiler system, so the steam that I talked about is created by a boiler at the base of the, of the unit, but we can also have uh, compact models uh, where it's a boiler-less system. 32 um, models available, I think. 32 models available, compact and standard. 10 grid is, is an 11 grid in actual fact, 20, uh, 20 grids, um, compact size, with literally, uh, the size of it is probably... The, the width of that door and the control panel would be sitting on the on the top so but again the, the footprint can, of the kitchen you can get it so you'll it, you can squeeze will, them in yeah a lanox oven will squeeze in in any type of footprint within the kitchen and i think it's worth mentioning you, you door you can a point of order you can we can reverse the door you can get an ultra vent for the top so if you haven't got a canopy that you can put an ultra vent at, you know, when you order in the machine. But you do, is it free site surveys? Yeah, free you site surveys. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, this is an expensive commodity for any kitchen, but if you can reduce that, if the combi comes with its built in hood, uh, extraction hood, then that, that's perfect. All right, okay, yeah. good. That's brilliant. Oh, well, carrying on? Yeah. Okay, so. I just want to go through this, the features now, and the way I like to do it is sort of go from left to right, top to bottom of the oven. So we open the oven door. Like in most models out there, combination ovens, we have a, uh, it's a double glazed door. Okay. Um, stainless steel, polished steel inside the oven with a large fan. That's to ensure that we get even cooking throughout the oven compartment, whether it's top, bottom, or middle, front or back. I expect to see even cooking. And it's the fan and the, the way that the, the interior is made that creates that, that perfect finish. Um, one of the most important features of the oven, in, in my view, is it's got a built-in cleaning system, automatic, and the chemicals are stowed away in the base there. Um, five litre containers, all purchased through, through Falcon itself. Five litre containers, where the containers are um, um, put it into GM patterns. Uh, oh. 
recyclable. Thank you. <laughs> That's the word I was. <laughs> so it's recyclable. Um, you can see there's two containers in there. One's a yellow, and that's the cleaning chemical, specially designed by Lanux to clean this particular oven. And the other one, the green one that you can see there, is for reducing the amount of lime scale that may or may not um, build up in the, in the boiler compartment. Now, yeah. I'm led to believe, uh, Matthew, are we in a soft water area? Is Cumbria known for soft water? Yeah, it is. Uh, we are soft water. But if you go down, you know, Manchester, Birmingham, head down south, then it is an issue. Um, and hard water is the killer of most combis. Absolutely. Um, so it's quite, yeah, it's quite a good system that you've, you've come up with if it'll, it'll yep. descale itself. It will descale itself. But most importantly, and I think, you know, it, it, it is a conundrum throughout the UK, the water problems that combis have. We always recommend if the hardness of the water is above 12 Clark, then it should also be fitted along with, with that an system, external one. With an external water okay, softener. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But Which, the machine will tell you though, does it tell you if it needs yeah. if it needs yeah. to be go on a descale program? Yeah, it will tell you and it will give you so many options to do it. And if you don't do it after so many options, it cuts out the steamer part of, of the other. So you can't quite use it as a that. steamer. That's yeah, quite good. Until you actually run the you know run the system yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and i think probably as well um i don't know you're going to touch on some of the interactive cooking and going like um off-site operations where it's going to be a cloud is it cloud-based program that it talks to so so basically well we haven't touched on it yet but this is wi-fi it's connected to the wi-fi first thing i did yesterday when i came on site we connected to the wi-fi so it's now connected straight out the box straight out the box so no need for a modem to be attached to it just it will hunt, as long it'll as hunt for a wi-fi signal yes, within so with, i can have it yeah, on my phone you could yeah. you can oh, yeah perfect. you can find it on your phone um in some places that we we sell into uh, and um uh, so there's so many firewalls so it is recommended it's it's hardwired to a LAN system okay. but that's that's all available yeah. Um, but it does mean that we're interacting with Lanox out in Italy who are producing menus all the time. But most importantly, anything we create, um, recipes, programs, it's never lost. It always sits there in the cloud. Will it also tell, say, a multi-site operator how clean the ovens are on the estate and how often they've been cleaned and things like that? Yeah, it, it has. A, um, it, it, like most combis, it has HACCP built in. Yeah. Hazard analysis critical control points. Those, that information that all chefs need to keep regarding the temperature that they cook the food to, the holding temperature of food, their fridges, their freezers, all that sort of thing. Everything that's being cooked in the combi is being monitored. It's being uh, recorded for up to a year. So that information that, as the chef, in a quiet moment, I would download that information onto my laptop. I put that information into folders, into weeks, so all that information, should I ever need it, is there available when the EHO comes around? Due diligence. It is. It's, when it goes wrong, it's proving it's just covering yourself, isn't it? Absolutely. So if you can prove that you've got, you know, your fridge temperatures are up to date, you sort of, you know, and you've cooked it at the right temperature, um, that's, it's not your issue. It's kind of, it must have been something else they've eaten somewhere else, you yeah. know. And, and it, it is, it's, it's, and these things are becoming more and more important. Absolutely. I, I noticed, uh, Matthew, there's a, there's a question coming in from Peter. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, how do I... Well, you, I'll let you read that out. How do I find... Uh, what, what's that? How hard my water is. Um, we have a chart on our website, okay? Um, so you can go follow the links. Um, if you go to the Combi page on the website, there is some links which will show you how hard the water is. If that doesn't do it for you, because it is quite general, we do little test packs you can buy, okay? And they're only like three or four pound. Um, and the following instructions, you can just go and yeah. basically um, test it in, in a matter of seconds and that will tell you how, how hard the water is. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's the answer to it's that. It's very simple, very cheap to do. You can do it yourself. Good, yeah. good. Okay, so we've covered the chemicals. Like I said, as the chef, an important feature. Let's just have a look at some of the other important features that I'm really impressed with. It, as with most combis, they've got this facility, and it's the, it's the probe. Um, you can get a single or a double probe. Um, this is obviously is the single probe. But as a chef, this, along with the cleaning, is the, one of the most important.
important tools that the chef has? I think it's the only interaction between, one of the only interactions between the product and the cooker, isn't it? Than, than the oven itself. So it's the only way, it's one of the only ways that the, the oven is able to monitor the, the, the product with inside. inside. As it's cooking. Yeah. But more importantly, I mean, it achieves three things as far as I'm concerned as the chef. One, um, it's not going to undercook the product, and especially chicken, we know that there's a potential hazard there. Two, it's not going to overcook the chicken, where it all becomes dried out and no one wants to eat it. But most importantly, three, you're not looking in the oven once to see how the food is cooking. You're just listening out for the alarm. You've got more important things to do in the kitchen than watch a piece of chicken cook. So that, the, the probe is a really important. And it's known as a cooking probe and not a temperature probe. And what I do like about this probe as well is it's a separate piece of kit. So if you do, you know, if you do break it, um, you then, you know, you can just order a replacement or you could have a replacement on the shelf, couldn't you? So, yeah. You know, yeah. it's not, you don't need an engineer to come and replace your probe. It's just a case of plugging it in and away yeah. you go. Yeah, fits into that position there to remove it, press the button and away it comes. So a very important feature of the oven as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so that's that spot there. Um, in the center we have a hand hose, um, cold water, fresh cold water, drinking water. A lot of people when I go and do some training, they say, um, I asked the question, what do you think this is for? And they say, oh, it's to cool the oven down. Well, of course it's not. Cold water against a hot metal surface, it will buckle the metal, it will eventually ruin the oven. What it's designed to do, you're cooking rice, you're cooking pasta, you'd have your tray of dried rice in the oven, you then use your cold water hand hose to fill that tray up with water instead of walking around the kitchen trying to juggle the water and the rice together. Yeah. Um, it will be ideal, we can see that our little cook line that we've, we've built today, but on here the hose is long enough, if we want to top up my gravy pot, my stock pot, I can do it. It's fresh water straight from the mains, so it's handy for that. So again, when sighting, when doing a site survey, something you should be born in mind. Yeah, I think, and do you, do you have, you'll have a heat deflector plate that can go on the side of it as well. I think a lot of the options of combis these days or this Nabu combi as a special. So it need, if it needs to go next to the stove, you can actually put a heat deflector plate on it. Yeah, absolutely. So you, yeah. can, so you can have that hose there and top up your pans. Yeah. So that's good, yeah. really and good. Just looking at it when you're planning the kitchen, just think, keep those things in mind. They're just the little, little extras like, you know, that you need to consider when, you know, when buying it and it just... And most importantly, when a chef moves in, he thinks, oh, that is a good idea. You know, mm. they thought about that. That's really yeah. The final one here is for a USB stick. Well, like I said, that is another way of interacting with the machine, but we've, all, we've got this one tied up with, with Wi-Fi. But if I think I... you've gone beyond it. As regards of, you know, as what I can see on the display earlier on today, that it is hunting for the Wi-Fi signal. And, you know, you can, that is your connection, really. So, yeah, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. But some places, to be fair, won't have Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, let's go onto the screen. It's an Android um, uh, tablet, basically, to want to, uh, with a, uh, yeah, and can be linked to a smartphone. Um, it, this has got a four year warranty, okay? Just the, the, the screen itself. But it's in echo mode at the moment, so it's not using any energy, but it's remembered all that information that I've programmed into it. So by touching the screen, it brings up what's known as the start screen. That's what I refer to as the start screen. And like any, um, like any um, tablet or iPad, um, you can see there's lots of icons there which I've created and we're going to go on and create some in a minute. But if I want to remove any of those icons, I just touch it, you get the wobbling, and then if I want to remove it, I'm not going to do it now because I need those, I just press the red cross and it will disappear. It all looks really familiar as regards of similar to what you see on a phone, isn't it, really? Yeah. So it's kind of drag and drop, is it? Drag and drop. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about, I'm going to show you, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Yeah. But can you remember the three modes we talked about? Yeah. Okay. Well, there, the, the, the icons for those are at the top here. You can see convection. In the center is the steam one. And we also have a combi one. So if I wanted to steam something, Matthew, literally one touch cooking, I just press the steam. 
The oven is preset to the boiling point of water, 100 degrees centigrade. It's on infinity. It's the figure eight line on the side. It tells me that it will run all day long. I can now, and it's on eco vapor, so it's using the minimum amount of, of, of water. Um, but equally, um, I could go on to turbo vapor. Particularly useful, I'm cooking um, root vegetables, potatoes, swede, carrots, where... Um, you, you need to penetrate into the product absolutely. a bit more. Yeah, yeah, using maximum amount. And it's got fan speed, I can reduce the fan speed. That's particularly useful, Matthew, when I'm cooking um, light products, volavant cases, light biscuits, sitting on parchment paper. Yeah, yeah. If I left it on full fan, it would literally blow those items <laughs> throughout the oven. Um, quite annoying. Does the fan, fan go back and forward then? Off? Yeah, it's a good point. Thanks for reminding me. Yes, it does. It will go in one direction and then it will alternate in the opposite direction. Why? To ensure that you get even cooking throughout the oven compartment. Okay. Um, so, all I do now when I want to steam something, I open the door. You can see it's built up with steam already. I put my product into the oven. I close the door. I walk away. It's going to carry What temperature is that in there then? That's, that's boiling point in there now. That's 100 degrees centigrade. How, yeah. how efficient is that? Yeah, it's well insulated, I think. That's yeah, what yeah. you're trying to say, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. yeah, it is. And can also, very quiet. It's a very quiet combi. Yeah. Okay, so let's just stop that. And we'll look at some of the other features on that main page. That's my sound. Remember I the time I was in the Royal Marines? Well, I spent time on board a submarine. Are we, are we diving? We're diving. Di yeah. We're diving. We're going down. We're going down. We're on We're end. diving, yeah. <laughs> so just read the screen and it will, and it will take me Okay. Now, an eight-item breakfast. Um, I've created some of those items, as you can see on the screen here. And we're going to create the eighth item. I've got seven up there. I thought we'd create the eighth one. Yeah, yeah. But, for example, if I wanted to cook the sausages separately... I go to the icon, and all I do is press the sausages. It tells me it's going to cook on convection. It's um, at 200 degrees centigrade. It's going to cook the sausages for 12 minutes, and it's using 100% humidity, uh, not 100% humidity. It's removing the humidity that is being created in the oven whilst those sausages are being cooked. Because it will, it will create an element. Yeah, yeah. And I want the sausages to come out um, nicely brown, uh, and, and so forth. Okay. Okay, I've just got, can I, um, Ron, we've just got a question from Amy. For oh. someone who is a bit of a, a technophobe, uh, would someone who isn't confident with a smart technology be able to use the screen with ease? Well, Amy, that is exactly what trying to prove today <laughs> okay if at the end of this you're still not happy and you're still confused then come back to me and i even come and visit you so we can get it sorted but it is very simple i've already mentioned one touch cooking can't get more simple it's than designed that. to make it easy isn't it if yeah. you can sometimes think about iphones and technology in your pocket now it never was around 10 15 years ago but you take it for granted so you don't you know it you soon get used to it, yeah. and um, so I don't. You got your, your product supports there if you're struggling, and so I can't. I can't see that being an issue. No. And it'll always revert back to its basic free functions yeah. that we said before. So if you get lost, you can always just wind it back. And, I'm not a tech, technophobe. <laughs> technophobe. I, I hope I, I read that right. No, yeah, I'm not one either. So I, I've learned on the job. And yeah, man, back in when, in 46 years ago, we were shoveling the fuel into the competition to heat it up, but those days have gone. And Day. Okay, um, so I've created seven individual items for my breakfast today. I'm going to create the the eighth one. In fact, would you give me a hand, Ooh, Matthew? Bit nervous. But bit on. nervous. Okay, so we're going to create another item that goes in um, with the breakfast item. We're going to create hash browns. I've got some hash browns under there. Okay. But we need to produce it. So what if I come where you are? You stand here so everybody can see the screen, and you're going to operate it. So the first thing we're going to go, go to the chef's hat. Can you see the chef's hat at the bottom there, Matthew? Just press that one. With a plus. Yes. And then it gives you a number of options. Do I want to create um, just a single program? I don't. In this case, I want it to mix in with those other seven items. So we go to multi-level. Multi-level. Which is the ML. 
and multi level. Does that stand for multi level ML? Mul it does. Multi level, yeah. Perfect. Or, or mountain leader. Back <laughs> in the <laughs> days of the Royal Marines. Okay, you need to select the mode now. We're going to cook on um, uh, convection mode. So just press the convection one. Convection. Uh, the, that, that, there we are. Yeah, okay, so it cool. highlights it. Now, you need to put, we need to put some uh, temperature in there. So touch the temperature. No, that's the timeline. Oh, one above. That's right. right. And you border it with a white border. Now, I am I'm, I'm like the biggest like, interferer there okay. is, you know what I mean? Border it again. Touch it again. Yeah, okay. Now, either with your finger or the scroller, put it onto 200. 200. It's you quite cool, that, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I also cool. like you can tap it either way. Okay. To, okay. to get the last. There we are. Got it wrong. Got it. Got it wrong. Okay. Um, now go to the timeline. Timeline. Cool. The one that I tapped before. Yeah. And put in six minutes. Six minutes. Hash browns today, um, you can cook from frozen. They would take 12 minutes. I've cut the time down because they're not frozen anymore. We're in minutes then, yeah? We're in minutes. It can go up to 24 hours and... It's fast, isn't it? It's 23 like... hours, 49 minutes. It's cool. I don't know what you're going to cook for 23 hours, 49 minutes, um, but still, it, it's there offered. And we want 100%. We want to vent off the maximum amount of humidity. So that's done it. 100% is perfect. Taking it out or putting it in? Taking it out. Taking in this it out. case, on okay. convection, you're taking it out. On combi, you're putting it in. Okay, cool. Okay, it is. And then it's on full fan, uh, and that's perfect for what we want. So, now go down to the info section. Just touch info. We Just remind you, we've created a basic program. We're going to cook hash browns, 190 degrees centigrade for six minutes. Um, now, we've got an option now, you need to name the product, so touch the, the, the line at the top. Yeah, that's it. Touch okay. it again. You had it there. Just tell you, big yeah, the Cumbrian fingers, I tell you, that's what, that's what it there is. There we go, now, right in, hash brown. Hash brown. I hope I spelled it right, yeah. Perfect. All right. That's not bad for me, that. <laughs> now, now, now touch the, the knife and fork, and then touch gallery. Gallery, gallery there. Now, this now brings us on to a multitude of pre-programmed photos. I'm half a page in front, I think. Yeah. And there's, so do I just scroll down scroll keep looking just for a picture the, of hash browns? Yes, yeah, if you go to the very bottom. So is it, it's coming from the internet, then, into this? Then. No, this is on the machine. This is on the machine. But it's, it, should we ever delete it? It's in the cloud. It's in the cloud. If you haven't got internet, it's still there on the machine, yes. So I'm looking so for go a hash to, Go to the very end. There very is a hash brown at the very end. Okay, cool. There's loads on it, isn't there? There's hundreds. And more importantly... Oh, no, look, it's the little thing going down, so I've got about half an hour's worth of scrolling. I have to go a bit quicker, look. I knew I shouldn't have asked you to do this. <laughs> no, you no, should... no, you're, about, you're about there now somewhere. Right, cool. Uh, come down a bit more. Back down. No, That's it, yeah, 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 cool. Let's call that a hash brown, shall we? Yeah, 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 cool, there it is. Good. Well, it's not. It's not. It will we'll see the old day. It'll be all day, otherwise. Um, but most importantly, should I produce the food that I've just cooked and I put it on a plate, I can take a picture with my camera, I can then unload, upload that uh, picture, either through Wi-Fi or through the USB stick. So it, the, those there. pictures can be bespoke to yourself. So it's like how, how you want the dish presented, yeah. like head chef, I want, it, I want it looking like this when it's on the plate, yeah. I want it finishing like that, and that is what I see on here. Well, well let's, let's just look at this. So you've now got the option you can put um, how the chef wants the product made, yeah? So we touch ingredients, also if we touched ingredients, I could put in there what ingredients I need to put uh, into the product to, to ensure that it's, it's right. Giving the chef every bit of information when he's preparing it. Um, instructions, how to cook it, method of cooking, how long it's uh, expected to take. Um, the type of accessories, and we'll talk about these a bit more later on, the type of accessories to use. That to we're going to cook on. Yeah, to okay. get the perfect product. And most importantly, what I expect to look at, look like... When it's finished. When it's finished. And for some reason... So it'll all step, that's a step-by-step, -step cloud based download it to a, to a multi-operator. or like So the chef can come in on a Monday, quiet after, Monday afternoon, design a menu, go through the stages, how they want it preparing, and just download it into the machine. 
and you, or you can uh, if you're like not a multi-site but you kind of like you've got a business that perhaps isn't isn't cooking or like you know I've got a I've got a kind of a museum or a whatever but I've got a cafe attached to that yeah. you can come in create dishes basic simple good food onto the machine and that will be yeah. an, a, a step by step way of producing good when, when I go and do training for the end user um, I explain about programs and again it's, a, it's an important feature of any oven um, once you've cooked something and you've prepared it and it comes out perfect and more importantly your customer enjoys it you should program that product into the oven whether it's this type of oven or any type of oven it means that the next time someone wants to cook the same dish you press the same button or you find that particular program um, Every, all the parameters uh, are lined up. You're going to get the same product every single time, whether I've cooked it or whether you've cooked it, or we've had to bring in an agency chef. Um, you're getting the same product because what as the what the customer expects to see is consistency. With yeah. The product. Yeah. How often do you go to a restaurant? You order a meal. You you loved it, and you think. I'll go back next week with some guests. Yeah. And it's, it's, and not, it's quite, not the same. It's not the same. And, 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 and it you should get, be. And you get, oh, who's cooking tonight? Who, which is the, and that's not, that's not what you want to do. It's no. just you want to be going there consistent yeah. standard all the time. Yeah. And I think as well, it's good for, like, like I said before, if the business isn't cooking and it's just a bolt on onto an existing successful business, garden centre, for instance, you know, that kind of thing, this is real step by step, good, good, good good way to get this, you know get the revenue without the stress yeah absolutely well put right so we can now um save that so to the, the do the back button matthew at the top there Are you sure yeah and it's asking now to save it press the save button and it will now it's now appeared on our front page yeah yeah, yeah? It's good i now want to put it into our this folder here this is our multi-level folder so if I just jump ahead, it's preheating now, but if I can cheat and just jump ahead, once it's preheated, the items that I've got in that folder are all there. Ready to, to yeah. cook. Okay. All we've got to do is bring our hash down, hash browns down now into that folder. So let me just stop this then and go back to our main page. All I want you to do now, uh, Matthew, is to put your finger on the hash browns and drag it. It's a bread roll pretending to be a hash brown. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I, I, I know everybody out there knows it as well. <laughs> Good. Right, go on. Put your finger on it and drag it into Wait. the ML breakfast folder. It's there. Has it gone from seven to eight items? It has. Yep. Okay, we're there. You've done that perfectly. What I would normally have done on that occasion, I would have copied that hash brown icon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've still got another one here. I've got one in there and I've got one in my main page. We forgot to do that today. That's not a problem then. Okay. Okay. Right. That's easy enough, isn't it? Have I, I've finished. Yeah, well done. All right, sir. Thank you. We was rehearsing this last night. <laughs> <laughs> from 8 o'clock until 2 o'clock this morning. And, and I uh, happened to get the picture wrong. I think it's <laughs> <worth getting. laughs> and we got the wrong picture. Okay. So there we go. We've now got a multi-level folder with all our items. I think it's time we did some cooking. I'm starving. What? You're starving? Um, is there anything else I can mention while we're doing this? I don't think so. I think I've covered most things. Easy to program that, though. Really, like, you know, just drag it. It's like what you've got on your phone, yeah. isn't it? It's just on there. Um, I've only got one folder in the multi-level, but I could have steamed vegetables. As but a would it, if I select that recipe, would it would it want to take me through the steps of actually the pre-preparing and all that kind of thing? You know, for that, you know, how you would like it to be cooked, what you want it to be on, how you how you want the dish to finish with. So you know, that's yep. pretty. Yeah, pretty easy. Yep. The bottom line here are folders again, but they're all in categories. So I've got a fifteen finger food folder with. 15 finger foods um, all pictures and again if I want any of those to cook it I can just select the one I want press the button and it's programmed up ready to go so it's just a, a quick way of getting to those those different items yeah yeah so let's go to multi-level then so I'm going to press the multi-level folder which camera are we on fellas yeah thank you I'm going to press the multi-level folder there's the item, um, what you see on the screen now, the oven is now preheating. It's currently at 98 degrees centigrade because we've had the door open, it's cooled down slightly. 
Um, but it's going to heat up to 240 degrees centigrade. The reason for that, it's going to go well above the 200 that we set for that particular product. Why? Because you, we're going to open the door. There's going to be yeah. a heat loss, and it's to compensate for that heat loss whilst, whilst we're loading the oven. What you can also see on the screen are numbers 1 to 7. They represent the 1 to 7 shells that you see in the oven. And in a minute, I'm just going to drag the items. Once it's preheated, those items will appear on the screen. And similar to the way you dragged it into the multi-level folder, we're going to drag it into one of those, uh, one of those uh, shelves. But uh, is it going to tell you, like, so am I going to cook everything at the same time, or is it a stage thing? No, we're going to do, we can do that cook everything at the yeah, same yeah, yeah. time and it'll all come out at different times but what we're going to do today we're going to do multi-level so we're going to do multi-level that's uh, wrong we're going to do just in time multi-level so we're loading at different times coming out at yeah. the, and everything cook everything ready at the same time yes so okay yeah. I understand we that. just start, started breakfast service in the morning yeah we want everything to go out there at the same time thereafter you'll be asked to do individual items as they're running out but in the real life of a combi um, once we actually, when you get one of these in your kitchen, um, it's a lot of the time it's been overnight roasting, hasn't it? We've been doing like a delta T slow overnight cooking. Yes. So the thing is like almost twenty four seven. So it's kind of like we've we've done all that. We've removed all our overnight thing. Where we've got a blast chiller. We we chilled that down for yeah. Sunday Sunday roast service. Yeah. And now we're we're looking after the residents and the and our, our guests coming down for breakfast. So, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have a spare minute of the day, this thing, does it? You spend a lot of money and then you want it to work as, for as long as possible. Yeah. And it's there and it's just simple. It's simple okay. to use. And also if you can sort of like, you know, do we, we, we don't need our main honch or chef in for breakfast anymore, do we? No. So we, we save a bit of time. He can come in at, what, half ten in the morning? Get ready for lunch. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't, you know what I mean? It doesn't, it's, it's so if we, there's a, there's a saving there, if we can, we, you know, Reduce reduce hours down. That's a that's a good thing. So yeah, it's good. Nice. So we're going to cook different items now. What we haven't mentioned so far is the stand. We've got a very basic stand here for today. But they the stands come in different formats. You can have shelves on both sides. Clearly, there's a lot of wasted space under there. So as the chef, I'd like to have another set of shelves on the right hand side. It comes with doors, um, so you can hide it all away. Um, so well, there's Amy's, lots of just, Amy's just asking, oh. how, how long in the morning does it take to it's warm Andy. up? Andy, not Amy. Yeah. Poor Amy. Uh, Poor Andy. Uh, uh, whenever. Andy, sorry. Um, how, how long in the morning does it take to warm up? Good question, Andy. And thank you for reminding me. Most combis will heat up about a degree every second. Every second, a, a, a degree. So it takes two and a half minutes to get up to 180 or thereabouts. Not long, is it? Not long at all. So gone are the days um, when I used to come into the kitchen, first thing you did was switch all the ovens on and go away, get changed, um, have a cup of coffee. Don't need to do that anymore. Save energy, save time, two and a half minutes, it's going to be up to temperature. Good. Yeah? Good. Equally, when it comes to cool down, um, when, it, when, you, when we're going on to cleaning, for example, which will be the last thing we to do today, when we go into cleaning, we'll need to cool the oven down before we can add chemicals for health, health and safety reasons. So the oven will cool itself down. We open the door. The fan stops. It comes to a complete standstill. It will then go in the reverse motion to push out all that hot air, and it will cool down a degree roughly every second. So not quick to heat up. Not long. Yeah. Not long. Okay. Hey, I can hear that sound. It's telling me, Chef, I'm Breakfast. ready. Breakfast. Um, I've got some items and we've got some more items under there. I think the reason I just want to show you now is just some of the accessories that come with the oven. It does annoy me when I go out and do some training um, for the end user. Um, I ask, where, where's your trays? And, and, and they, believe it or not, they've forgotten to order any trays. Uh, and all I'm saying to them is, please don't go out and but buy the cheapest trays you can. You can get a lot of stainless steel ones. These but are enamel, aren't they? These are enamel. Um, one by one size. This is a one by one size. This is um, half, half, half size. size, or is it two thirds? No, half, maybe half, it, half. that's half, is it? Yeah. Um, but spend a little bit more money and, and buy a, a better quality tray. The stainless steel tray is certainly one by 
one. When they get hot, they do tend to buckle at the corners. And of course, all your product goes into the centre, all the fat collects in the centre, and it's not ideal. Uh, Ron, this is a perforated one, isn't it? Are they here? Are yeah, they this is a perforated one. Obviously, so we want the heat to penetrate and brown the bottom of the hash browns as well as the it top. sweat underneath. Yeah, it? that's right. Um, I've got an egg tray in a minute. I'm going to put that in, in, in as well. So, let's go back now to... It's now asking me. It's up to temperature. It's brought up those eight items. You can see I've scrolled across. I put it on JIT just in time. All I need to do now is press the start button. Nope, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm jumping ahead now. I need, in fact, Matthew, come again. Oh. This is where you can now put those items into those shelves. So I have to do all this work before breakfast? Yeah, before we start cooking. Before I eat. Before you eat, yeah. <laughs> so which, which one? So one to seven shelves. Yeah. And just touch the item and drag it into the shelf number. Okay, mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, let's go to the it's number six. That's it. Make it difficult. Um, <laughs> yeah, black pudding. Black pudding. Uh, let's go for let's go for number two. Now, because they're in half trays, we can also put uh, a tray up. At, uh, double oh, up. That's, that's cool. So let's, let's, let's we've got seven that. shelves, but we could we, so we could have 14, seven different fourteen op options. We could have fourteen different options. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Mushrooms. Uh, sorry, tomatoes. Yeah, there's a whole lot. And, and <laughs> can I double up just to show that for some, yeah. so, show that option? Same shelf. Isn't there we go. The uh, the mushrooms of the mushrooms are on the same shelf yeah. as the tomatoes. Yeah. And the same. Um, should we go with the black uh, the fried bread? Yeah. Yeah. On the same. Is that what that's, well, no, no. that's a half size? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Chef? Well, use up the rest of the shelves now. Use up the rest of the shelves. Yeah. Okay. There's seven shelves. We've got eight items. So one needs to be doubled up. Okay. Put uh, your finger on it and just drag it down. There we are. Number one. Oh, sorry, it didn't no, connect. There we are. Yeah, yeah. Drag it across and there's another. Oh, wow. So, hang on, just one sec. There That's we cool, are. isn't it? Yeah. So, sausage. Yeah, we got sausage. Yeah, we got inside. the whole. You need to bring all those down. Wow. Even your hash brown that doesn't look like a hash brown. <laughs> We've got a full deck. We've got a full oven on. Now, I and my colleagues have spent a lot of time. Um, when we perch, when we uh, we're practicing with these items to to ensure that they come out perfect, but that's what cooking's all about. And we got um, eggs, Ron. Eggs, yeah. Uh, that's good. We're putting eggs on the bottom shelf. That's good. Do you like that? Yeah. Is like that it. a little bit of chefing? Bit, a bit of yeah. I don't know that. why you selected it, but it worked <laughs> out well. So they're all our items are now in place. Um, but look, 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 going back, even though you may program, it, it, you might not necessarily first time but it's easy then to go back into that product edit it to cut down on time put, put a bit more uh, temperature in to get it exactly right nikki says does it self-clean yes it does nikki and that's the last thing we're going to talk about today okay, okay? We'll move on to we're that. now ready now to start it so it's up to temperature it's telling us please put in the pork chip alatas there we are so they're going to go into the oven thank you matthew Oh, let's put it around the right way, that helps. That goes into the oven. It's now cooking the pork chipolatas. It's now checking the time and it's going to alarm and tell us when the next item needs to go in the oven. Okay. The last item I expect to go in the oven will so be the eggs. Hang on a minute, just rewind that. Yes. So it's got, this is not when it's ready, this is so that it's ready all at the same time. All at the same time. So this is, it's basically kind of, it knows when everything's going to be ready. So the different times, we're loading in different times. So every, that's, that's pretty, I've not seen that before. Yeah. Well, multi it, 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 everything must be preset though to roughly the same temperature. So it's no good cooking something at 100, it's set for 200. So it's going to tell, it's going to tell me the next product on that list that wants to go It'll in. It'll come in, come up in a minute. Okay, so we've got a few more items here. And like you said earlier, um, it may, you don't need to be a qualified chef to do this. I've done it, I've, I've done it, I've, yeah. I'm, I'm there. Yeah. Ideal for guest houses. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, where you've got so many um, smaller model, perhaps not as big as this, yeah, yeah. a compact model, um, where they... Different, not so many guests are coming down at different times. Everything's laid up um, on a tray, maybe all done the night before and in the fridge, all ready to go. 
customer comes down, sits down at the table, 12 minutes later. This, this, doesn't take, this does not take Einstein to work out to actually, load, you know, to mean to, to produce a breakfast, does it? Because it's kind of, less, it's going to tell me what to load when, yep. hopefully. Absolutely. And thereafter, when you're wanting individual items, um, when you want individual items, you can then go back to your front page, yeah, and just drag those individual items down individually as they're required. Just, just in time cooking, yeah? Just in time cooking. Right, there's all our items there. Going back to Wi-Fi that I didn't mention, Matthew, another important feature. Um, people in the head office, or more importantly, when a, 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 the oven has a fault, yeah, um, a service engineer in Falcon, um, or in service line, as our, uh, our service agent, yeah, yeah. They can look at that particular model, they can bring it up on their, their screen in their office, in their workshop, in their factory, they can bring our model up and it will tell them then what the problem is, whether it's something that the customer can fix themselves or whether they need to send an engineer out to fix it. So, so the warranty of the oven, just let's see, get it straight because Jeff wants to know a little bit more about the, the warranty side of it. So let's, like the four year deal on the, is the panel, is that like panel and so what's the what does it as a standard is it a two year warranty as standard one year warranty one year warranty yeah. as a standard yeah. and then it's basically uh four years on on the pa on, on the, the touch panel, panel. Yeah. okay yeah. right but, but i do recommend and again this it's like a small car a 20 grid oven is it, the price of a car yeah, yeah um and the car you would have serviced every year so it's really important i think that when you going to purchase something like this um, also consider having a service contract to go with it so right annually it yeah can be, it's given a service an yeah, MOT. Yeah. yeah yeah okay and um, we've got filters and things that need replacing yeah. and stuff like that so yeah. yeah you need to look after it yeah. um, okay that's all right that's good that's good that's all right good it's not bad it's, um, and so what this breakfast now, it's going to, it's, it's, what we're cooking, what we're cooking in the top, we're cooking the sauce. Chipolatas. Chipolatas in the top, in the top. And we've got a lot of enamel trays, pretty much enamel trays you've got going on as options. All right. The, we've got an uh, egg tray at the end. Egg tray. But there's, again, if you go onto the Falcon site, go under the Naboo, it will show you um, um, a whole host of different accessories that you can buy with it. Yes, like I said, they can run to be quite expensive, but if you can afford it, just pay out that little extra. You will notice the product that comes out at the end. It will be. I think we've got a good saving on, on the purchase price of the machine. The head, the head up price is a good value for money. And also, I think some of the running, obviously running costs are, are going to be quite lowered by using it. And your chemical costs, I think, are, are quite a bit you know, more reasonable than yeah. other competitors. They're competitive with um, the, the, the premium brands out there. Um, yes, you can buy, you can buy uh, cheaper products, cheaper chemicals, but we have found in the past, and from my experience, not just with this um, oven, but with other combi ovens, if you use a, some chemicals are too severe for, for the oven, um, and they will ruin the stainless steel. Um, more importantly, they'll probably ruin the, uh, the, the, the rubber seal that goes round, round the door. Yeah. Because you're using the wrong chemical. It's got too much, um, I, I guess, caustic in, in the product, um, and it's too severe. But how much time is saved cleaning an, on an oven? And like, who, who wants to clean ovens deep down? Who, like, it's, the, it's the job everybody hates to do. Well, it so used to be my job <laughs> in, in the old day. <laughs> Um, so or did you make somebody do it for you? you well, know, I like, did. Eventually, that yeah. filtered down to kind of, yeah. yeah. As I um, went further up the, <laughs> the scale, yeah, other people would do it, clearly. Um, <laughs> and and we'll, we'll see how good a job you do later on. Um, what's it asking for now? It's come up, it's asking for some items. I'm going to pass yeah. them to you. It's uh, two, two, the, the black pudding, uh, the smoke. Uh, bacon, Open the door, browns. Then. Okay. Open the door, lovely. There you go then, Matthew. telling me what shelf put to put in. them on as well, so yep. I need to put shelf shelf two. I'm accounting from the bottom of the top, down two or... One up. is the top. 
One is the top, so two is that. Yeah. Right, turn okay, it turn it around. It. Working with amateurs, I don't know. Uh, three. Uh, on shelf three, can I have the bacon, sir? Bacon, yeah. Thank you. Throw it in that way. That's okay. it. Uh, hash browns, sir. Oh, hash browns, there you go. That's a full tray of those. Full tray of those, that's all right. That goes into shelf four. So, one, two, three, four. Hey, uh, you haven't got to keep to this shelf. <laughs> I think we all know uh, what a smart and black Button blue. mushrooms, sir, please. Button mushrooms, they're going in there as Thank well. Thank you. Lovely. And I think we're closing the door on that now. Turn it around. That's it. Okay, Thank you. cool. Well done. Close the door. Yeah. It's carrying right. off. Okay. Um, it's not bad, is it? No. So the sausages, it knew that the sausage was just about ready. If we get some more product in there, we can all we can make that ready all at the same time. Yeah, that's the idea. That's, that's the cool idea. Is that? Yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's yeah. Um, notice how quiet it is. It's yeah, quiet as well. And again, um, and that and, and it's well insulated, so you're not losing a great deal of heat. And it's the environment that some kitchens are. You know, it's really off-putting for the chef. It's 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 a it's a it's quite stress-free, this, to be honest. If you, like, and this is a, a, what, a seven-deck combo, you said. Yeah. Um, so, like, how many breakfasts you, could we do in, theoretically? How many servings would come out of this? We could 30. 30 customers, so yeah. we could have 30 residents, yeah. stress-free, yeah. all on, all on cut breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Really. As long as you can get 30 items onto a tray. Or if we're topping up, like, a self-service... You know, yeah. um, Calvary, not yeah. Calvary, like, you know, a breakfast bar. Yeah. You know, we can be, yeah. you know, so that's good. No, I like it. Um, no more questions at the moment from our, uh, our, our viewers out there? No? Um, while we're talking about, oh, here we go, it's coming again. What's it asking for? Well, this time, probably the last one. Uh, fried bread. Fried bread, yeah, yeah, there you go. I want them doubled up on the top, so that's fine. I'll just push that back, I think. Whoops. Is it getting these trays the right way? Oh, look at that. And tomatoes, Good. is it? Yeah, tomatoes. Uh, no, yeah, tomatoes. It wants on number six, so we'll go down for number six on there. That's it. Close the we door. Go. While we're talking about stress and we're waiting for that to cook, uh, and the last thing that we're going to cover is um, the cleaning cycles, um, but we need, really need to wait to that to finish. While we're talking about stress-free kitchens and a, and, a, and a nice, cool environment to work yeah, in, yeah. it might be just to, just to mention induction. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah? Right. Every, everyone we've sold, they love it. And some, some chefs as well that have been used to, like, eight kilowatt burners, you know, and want to weld on them and think, you know, it's, they just want, and then you give them one of these and they think it's not going to do the job they don't want to go back. Once they've, once they've tried one of these, they, they're not having anything else in their yeah. kitchen. You do need to change technique. The chef needs to change the technique slightly, the way he cooks. For example, on a gas hob, if he wants to napper some chicken breast, he'll tilt the, 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 the pan slightly, and then with a spoon here, napper the top of the, you know, baste it. Um, you can't actually do that with induction. The pan, the pan has got to be flat on onto the surface, but it's so fast in, in heating up, you literally have to, the chef will have to change his technique slowly, you put it down, you lift it, napper it, back down again, and that's the way you do it. So we have, a, we have a, a, a restaurant that we did with Falcon Equipment, and it's the same temperature in the kitchen as it is in the dining room. It is just totally stress-free. It is, you know, it, it's, yeah, wow. it's, it, it's lovely. Yeah. It's, it's so nice to go in there, and it's just nice and cool. Yeah. It's not, you know, and, and that, it's, it's good. good the times I've walked into kitchens and just doing breakfast an hour later and you're pouring whiskey. That's well, the, no, no the way to start grill, the day. The eye level grill is like a five bar heater in your kitchen. Yes. And even that nowadays has gone, like, so it heats up really quick and your grill that you pull down. Yeah. I wish we had one to show people, really. That would have been good. Yeah. Um, but, so I can't recommend that enough. It, it, it's, it, it's, it is the way forward. Um, we're selling we're selling lots of those and people do they do ask me is it easy to crack the glass well it's not it's been well tested they dropped I think it's six kilo of a, a six kilo weight on there a number of times to ensure it doesn't break the only time uh, to, eggs chef oh chef, here eggs. we go eggs I have to be careful with this one whoa I'll do this then <laughs> just on that one there 
Ah. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, don't, don't, get, don't tell me off. No, I won't. I have found that a good way of doing the eggs is to position it, a tray just, a, a just above it. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's what's known as, I, I like to close the eyes of the eggs. Instead of when they come out, they're yellow. I just like to close their eyes. So, so we still need a bit of chef and skill. That's what I need. Well, no, if I learn something today, well, it's close the eyes yeah, of the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's the way most, otherwise customers are saying, cool, that looks raw to me. Yeah, it's important that you Tomorrow when them. I'm doing breakfast, those eyes of those eggs will be closed. <laughs> uh, induction as well. Just come back to induction while this is finishing off. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Can I just say, I mentioned about the weight. The only time, ladies and gentlemen, the only time I've known one to break is when an 18 stone man stood on it to clean the filters one evening when they did a deep clean. It's not designed to stand on. Okay. I think that's fair enough. Yeah. But uh, worth a mention as well is interlocking and uh, gas in a kitchen, general gas in a kitchen, although it is cheaper to, to actually cook with gas, um, sort of induction is has stepped that far, much far, further forward. The, the requirements for canopies to be a, sort of a certain size, air movement, and you know having them serviced every year via you know gas certificates and all that kind of thing. Yeah. If it's it's so hard now to comply with regulations being you know and having air movements and all this kind of stuff in the kitchen. If you have got a three phase supply, then it's a lot easier just to get get up and running, plug it in, and uh, and get going. So it's it's a lot you know. It's, a, it's a, and it's clean and it's it's more instant. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's, it's much quicker than gas. It's much quicker than, and more importantly, in a kitchen, we all know if it's electric cooker, you guarantee that electric is running all day long because it takes so long for it to heat up, and the chef's going to be so impatient, he's going to keep it on all day long. But how many how many kitchens have I been in where I've seen just the burner burning away, waiting for a check to come on the pass? because yeah. they cannot be bothered to kind Ooh, of light it. Yeah, they just exactly. have it there, just ready. Yeah. And you've got like three or four burners, no checks on. And they're just, just there, just randomly like. Yeah, and, just and wasting energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just on, cook, switch off. Yeah. Wow. It's the way forward. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the, way, the forward. way forward. I think our eggs are, our eggs are looking all right in there. They're closing the eggs. Closing the eyes, that's important. Um, we must have about two minutes left now. And, th and then we'll be there. So let's make sure we're all ready. There's your plate. That's your plate. That's no my way. plate. No way. That's the other. That's the all other right. We'll swap around then. You, we, we, I'll tell you what. Now I'll give you the larger <laughs> plate. That's it. Okay. He's worked hard today, hasn't he, ladies and gentlemen? Right. Oh, so know we're going to bring that. all these out in a minute, and then let's just move this down slightly. So if you wanted one of these, you've got a three site survey. We can do you obviously. When you buy one, you get a, a demonstration, uh, not demonstration, but you go and uh, you'll do some uh, menu development and show them how it works. Yeah. It's, in, it's, our, it's in Falcon's interest to ensure that once the customer has bought something similar to this, or indeed a lot of our other products, they need training. All right, so they fully understand exactly how it works. Uh, and, and, and of course, we offer that. We're, we're, we're uncomfortable ourselves if we walk away just have it positioned into the kitchen, walk away and think, say thank you very much. We want to ensure that they're getting the full value for it. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Cooking ended. Take cover. <laughs> We're diving, dive, <laughs> dive, dive. <laughs> By the way, if you're fed up with that, uh, if you are fed up with that, uh, that sound, you can change the sound, you can make it louder, you can make it less. If um, it, 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 you can put a number of different languages in there, so there's a host of different languages from anywhere in the world. So it really depends on what your brigade, your chef structure is. Have you stopped touching my yeah, no, I, I just pressed OK because it was, I thought we'd, go, we'd dive too deep. You're going straight. We, 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 were, we were far too deep then. We were interrupting <laughs> it. It was like the, the conversation. Oh, that's perfect. OK, so. Got to be careful here. It's rather hot. But there's our eggs. Okay, good. That's nice. Yeah. Have a look inside that. We've got our tomatoes. We've got our bacon. Now, I know you're up north here, but down south we like our bacon done like this. This is Ron's way. Ron's I way. With, I don't so, like it crispy. I was going to tell you a soft southerner, Ron, but I don't. I don't think I'll get away. <laughs> I don't think I'll get away with that. The flat beer. Yeah, is the beer flat? <laughs> well, no. I'll, I'm a cider man myself. Yeah, cider man. Right, okay. Because it's like it's normally like flat beer when I go down south. 
It's uh, yeah, we like a good head on our beer, you know, like. So everything, so it's, it's like just in time cooking. Just right. in time cooking. Yeah. And so all that is going to be ready to go out, you know. So this could be the start of a buffet or like a self service. The, everything's out yeah. at the same time. time Imagine perfect for seven thirty. Out, out in the uh, in the dining hall, ready, ready to rock and roll. Imagine I've just put this straight onto yeah, the yeah. plate. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I can't. That simple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready it's to go. Taking twelve minutes. I've pre prepared pre prepared the stuff the night before. Um, right. So let's. Do up your plate, Matthew. Cool. My, yeah, the big one. Yeah, Come one on. sec. There we are. So we have two sausages, some uh, some mushrooms. How do you like your hash browns? Just like that. One, Just like two. Two, two, please. Yeah, they're quite popular, hash browns. Look, fried bread. We've, we've got fried bread here. Um, but you could also do toast in there at the same time. Toast. Uh, toast, toast does, takes four minutes on toast. Black pudding. Um, a bit of Ron's bacon. Look at that. Beautiful, just Beautiful. the way he loves it. Um, a couple of tomatoes, a bit of colour, and finally the egg. We'll slip onto the fried bread. Put that down there, Matthew. Take a picture of that. Uh, if you can take a picture of that, fellas. Um, I think you agree. That is pretty. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty not smart. bad. That's, that's pretty smart. All to be ready at the same time. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So can I, Ron? Can I enjoy that while you? You, you go back over there, Matthew. You enjoy that, and I'll finish off. Um, Show them how to clean it. How to clean it. So I get out of the cleaning, just have my breakfast. Perfect, that'll do. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for, for looking in so far. I hope you've, it's been informative. We haven't finished just yet, but I'm now going to go on to cleaning. So let's go out of this screen. I'm going back, returning to the previous screen. There's our previous screen. If I wanted to, if I wasn't happy, for example, the bacon because um, we wanted it crispy. All I'd have to do is go in, edit the bacon. I could increase the temperature all the time. Wrong, I couldn't increase the temperature. It's 200, but I can increase the time it's, it's in there for so we can change it and save it. Um, okay, let's go into cleaning. And it's this symbol here. If I press that, um, it brings up a variety of different programs. So we've got rinsing, three minutes. It's a cold, it's a cold water rinse. When would I use that? Um, I've just cooked cabbage perhaps and I'm now going on and do an apple pie. Um, I don't want that taint of cabbage smell in the oven. I want to give it a three minute rinse. So by, by pressing that, it will give it a three minute rinse of cold water. It will only start though once the machine has cooled down below 50 degrees centigrade. And then it will automatically start. Um, soft wash, 24 minutes. And this is the one I recommend for most, most occasions. And that's what we're going to use today. We're going to put it on a soft wash. 24 minutes. It uses the least amount of chemical. Um, and um, it will, depending on what we've cooked in there today, it will give the perfect finish as if it's brand new. That's what we're after. Is that what we're looking for? That's bring it right. But also, you can do a hard wash, 41 minutes. If I've been roasting chickens in there all day, I expect there to be a lot of fat splashes, and it may need a couple of um, washes. So hard wash is twice soft wash, but it uses twice the amount of chemicals. So you've got to think about this carefully um, to judge how much, how much you're using. Um, and, and there's a, a number of other options there at the same time. There's a useful one at the, at the end there as well, manual wash. I've run out of chemicals. I forgot to order some more. They're coming in next week. Can I, and I'm asking myself the question now, can I still give it a clean? Yes, you can give it a manual clean. You can use a proprietary um, oven cleaner. It's not ideal for continual use, but a, 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 an oven cleaner from the supermarket, press manual wash, it, the oven will cool itself down. When it's below 50 degrees centigrade, it will then alarm to tell me to spray in. I spray all around the oven. With the, with the chemical, close the oven door, and it will continue as if it was automatic. So it's a semi-automatic cleaning system, not bad at all. And it's, it will never be interrupted as, well, as regards of, so if somebody comes in and switched it off, for instance, um, it will want to rinse itself out the following, when it's been turned back yeah. on, it'll pre it will never, it'll never leave any chemical no. inside the chamber. Yeah? It will always do, the, it will always do ensure that it's uh, done a complete flush to get rid of any chemicals that are in there. Brilliant. Um, I think we've covered everything. I don't know how long that's lasted. I hope, ladies and gentlemen out there in the streaming world, that you've 
found that useful. Um, I've certainly enjoyed passing over that information to you. Um, I know people can look at it again in the future, can't they? Oh yeah, you just uh, this is this is up online now, so this presentation will be up online for you to kind of watch at your at your own at your leisure, as it were. But really, a big thank you uh, to uh, Ron uh, for his uh, chefing today and showing us the Naboo Combi. Uh, we've got some great special offers at Cater Quick, and I'm hoping you'll you know we've answered all your questions. If you if there's anything that you want to uh, that you think about in the meantime we've got a dedicated sales line uh, for you to, to for you to ask any questions you need to once again big thank you to Ron and I wish you uh, a great day and um, any questions about combis we've got some good special offers on this month I think there's some things that you'll you'll be emailed you in today later on today some special offers that I've been trying to work out with Falcon and get the best deal possible for you so um, I hope you enjoy uh, you, you call me and thank you again, Ron. Thank you very much. Cheers, Matthew. Thank yeah, you very yeah, much indeed. Bye -bye. Cheers.